Follow us as we transition this old South Florida home into a modern remodeled gem. We get rid of those old nasty cast iron tubs, those boxed in kitchens. We rip off that old nasty green vomit colored wallpaper and along the way we have our workers getting into machete fights. So much action. Tune in. This is Flippin' With Seaweed. flip property and we have our first dilemma we have a central AC that was stolen we're putting a new central AC in but we don't have anywhere to put our washer and dryer we were gonna put it over here in this Florida room but that's a waste of a Florida room for washer and dryer so what do we do what do we do with this space what do we do with this wall we cut open this wall up to here Open it up, put a stackable washer and dryer there, cut this wall in half, put a bar here. This fridge gets moved to over here and we patch that entrance and put a door over here. That's the plan. Gotta get rid of these nasty doors. Let's see. Woo! Oh, don't come out on the blooper. <laughs> All right, when you're only five foot 11, sometimes you need a hand from your son. So let me take you to the ringling and dealing and seaweed circus. <laughs> All right, so we have a level. Now they put it on that, that chalk line to the top. Hold on, put it to the top. Are you straight? Mm -hmm. All right, hold it down, go all the way up, and we're down again. Up and down. All right, are we done? Yeah. All right, sometimes you need your son to help you out. Thanks, buddy. Pound it. Dante, you may not understand it yet, but you'll see at the end what my vision was. That wall you're gonna hit, we're gonna make it hollow and frame it and bring it out further so the washer and dryer could be on the other side of that. And over here we could put our bar. So go ahead and start demoing that wall for me, hard. Someone just pushed your sister. Someone just threw your sister on the floor. No dessert. No dessert. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Did somebody just hit your mom? You don't love your mom? Let's see that. Oh. Stuck on them. I'm gonna show you how to take it off. 
Home Depot get a big flat uh, wide blade spray with some uh, paint paint remover or you could use um, water or Windex give it a nice spray you don't want to start at the bottom here and just go up that window up the window pull those boogers off go on the other side up that window up the window and you see it clearing up so that's a quick way to restore your old windows so with the property with the property came this big concrete slab and i brought paul bunyan to eliminate it boom good job boom good job all right what are we doing in this bathroom dante all right, show us how you get it done. Slide, slide it in. Yeah, there you go. Use the other side. I got my brother Lewis here. What are we doing, buddy? We're down in the bathroom and getting rid of all the old tile, making that tile coming out. You don't like burning colors? The what? You don't like the burning colors? I, I like the purple. The are very nice blue is very beautiful. <laughs> and I'm just going up on Section 8 housing. Section 8 housing right there for you. Beautiful job. Look, the tile guy's gonna appreciate how clean you did this. I told you already. I already told you. I'm not, I'm not scared of the night, bro. You're bigger than me, man. Fair fight. Fair fight. Fair fight. Back up. Back up. What's up? What's up? No, no, no. When I threw it, I didn't, I didn't even touch it. We found many wild and crazy things inside of flip properties. We found ashes from dead bodies. We found historical Babe Ruth cards. But this is a first. And this wall, look at this. Someone was hiding their life savings. Either a kid, an older person. But look, check this out. When I pulled this old metal frame out of this Florida room, this is what fell out. Look, look at these old coins. They were loaded. Where's the real money at? No! That's it. I'm tearing this wall down. There's gotta be millions there now. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Demolition man! Dante, what are we doing? Some shrubs, some Clusia shrubs to enclose the yard. We had this white fence here, guys. Again, this is where we decided to battle and save money. We're not gonna spend $2,000 to enclose us with PVC fence. Instead, me, Lou, and my boy Dante will dig a nice line from side to side and we will plant Clusia shrubs and it'll be nice and green and enclosed, marrying right into that white fence. All right, so we're coming down to the finishing touches. Here you had this boxed in, this beautiful house boxed in by this ugly, dingy fence. We're getting rid of it. And in its place, we're gonna put some nice lollipop landscaping in the front, some spiral plants on the perimeter of the windows. And we're gonna leave this nice mold clean grass with no fence. Here we have the young Bustamante's cleaning our 
forefront of our house is big glass window that looks out into the front yard. All right, just a little small finishing touch on our flip property. All right, so this is something small that we added. It doesn't add any value when it comes to the appraisal, but when you're showing a house and you're able to paint a picture for them, they already know they have this huge yard and they, they can put a pool. They have their beautiful white house. You saw the inside. And then they envision their kiddos in a swing in the backyard on their big tree. Lindy, Lindy wants to trade this house for our house. That's how much she loves the swing. So little stuff like that. This place started off with this ugly enclosed wall here. We had an action scene here, me and this guy. We actually had an argument, a construction argument. He pulled out a machete, I threw a rock. We actually accidentally broke this glass wall over here. That glass mirror wall over there, you'll see it on video, but we patched it up nicely. And we got them with an outlet for the big flat screen TV. Um, we cut open that, this wall, opened it up, and put this beautiful quartzite slab here. Check this out. So now, instead of this division where you can't see what's going on in the bathroom, now whoever's cooking over here, can host their family, their guests. We can have one, two, three people sitting on this side, one, two, three, even four guests sitting on the other side, and it's just utilizing your space. Utilize your space. Whatever space you're given, usually typically South Florida, you're gonna get about 1,000 to 1,600 square feet in, the, in most common single family homes, and you need to utilize. Eliminate any of those old styles where it was cool to box in the kitchen, you know, and make your living room divided from the flow of the house. That's out. This is in. Look at this kitchen now. Remember those old black, I think they were black and burgundy um, cabinets. Now we have nice white, soft clothes shaker cabinetry. Shaker, white shaker, soft closed cabinetry, all new GE uh, appliances, new stove, new fridge, big difference. As you remember before, you used to walk through this wall into what was your utility room. But we close that off to enclose our fridge, open the door, doorway here. Now we have our entrance, not into our utility room, not to where the water heater is, but where our bathroom is. How about that change? Old, muggy laundry room is now a nice second bathroom. All right, as you'll see in the old videos with me, Lou, and Dante, remember Dante on my shoulders sketching out the opening of that uh, closet area? Show them what it is now. So before it was just empty space, now we have a new stack of a washer and dryer. This became a laundry room. We extended the wall, we went further out this way and then closed it off. So we have our washer and dryer and what's on the other side? We divided that and now, washer and dryer, and brand new central AC. All right, now we bring you to our brand new bathroom. Do you remember this bathroom? What did you dread most? Oh my God, the worst part was the high ones and removing piece by piece, old school pink tile, like a four by four chunk, each individual Oh my one. God, that was brutal. No all of us were all cut up. We were all cut up. Oh, what about that cast iron bathtub?
Guys, when you have an old cast iron bathtub, just so you know, you don't have to pull it out in one chunk. You could slam a sledgehammer and it'll, and it'll break in the middle, but you gotta get those old bathtubs out. It's not in anymore. If you're flipping homes, they're not gonna be very crazy about an old cast iron bathtub. Oh, remember over here, this used to be a walkway into the master bedroom. But guess what? We utilize the space and now it's a, it's a uh, laundry closet. Let's take you into that master bedroom. Master bedroom now looking out to a, a big backyard. The kids playing on the swings. And look at this. We separated both sides, some nice white closets. We're showing his, hers. Oh, you guys remember this room? We called it the sci-fi room. It had a, a loose wire and uh, this blue wallpaper all around it, real weird blue wallpaper and a light that nobody could fix. It just kept flickering so you felt like you are in the, the twilight zone. Now we got it all nice, new closet. Nice white paint, gray porcelain flooring. That wallpaper's gone, brand new bedroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We really do appreciate all of your comments. And as you see, it's me, my wife, and my three kids. We're hands-on from beginning to end. We do get down and we do get dirty for every part of the flipping process. So please, your comments, you sharing this, you guys subscribing if you like the content, it really helps us out. And I will help you guys out with anything, be it a rental property, your homestead, or getting into flipping. Just leave me a comment what paint I use, what subcontractors I use, the electrician, what tile we use, where we get the tile. I'll help you guys out with anything. Leave it in that comment box and we could be friends on social media. I want you guys to have a wonderful holidays. Merry Christmas from the Bustamante family. This is Flipping with C. Talking with.